Yum! You probably don't cook your dog's food because you're probably normal people. Can you still hear Gus eating? You're so cute! <laughs> Hello, Fiber family. Welcome to Fiber Love Diary. If we haven't met, I'm Trish. If we have met, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. What's up? Some of you I know have been really waiting for the dish towel series to continue. I went back to work about two weeks ago and basically what happened is I had to finish, it turned out 120 days worth of like minimum work in like 15 days so it's been very very crazy i'm sorry the dogs are eating in the background if you can hear it. <laughs> yum they really enjoy their food i have to cook all their food right now that's a long story you probably don't cook your dog's food because you're probably normal people i finished the weaving it took like two weeks probably but again one of those weeks i was back to work and so i didn't have very much weaving time i have talked about this in previous parts of the series but just in case you haven't seen the first two you probably should go back and see them but I am weaving these with 8-2 cotton they're in a 12.5 dpi heddle and there is 251 ends total in the warp what else do I need to say oh each towel is woven under tension 26 inches long if you're looking for a super technical weaver that's not who you found. <laughs> I kind of feel like if my dish towel is an inch shorter or an inch longer, I don't really care. So uh, each towel has a different colored weft. I had six colors, if you count like the neutrals, which I do, in my warp and I used a different one for each towel until I got to the end. So. If you went back to the planning video, or if you've seen the planning video, there's like a saffron color that's like a um, slightly greenish, very electric-y yellow. I did not do one with that as weft. I just think it's like too, it's too strong for me. I love that color as like an accent, but as a solid weft color, it's not for me. It could be for you though, so. Oh, and that yarn came from Great Northern Weaving. All of it came from Great Northern Weaving in Kalamazoo, Michigan. They have an awesome website. They ship. It's affordable. It's one of the best prices I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the best, but it's one of the best. And I think you get a price break the more you order, kind of like at Webs. I don't know if you guys ever ordered yarn at Webs. Probably you did. <laughs> One of the things I love about these, like what I think of as beach umbrella striped weaves, and I've done them before, I cannot stop, I love them so much, is that while I'm changing up the weft, I'm seeing how the different colors look woven together and I'm getting new ideas for like my next one. That's why I keep doing it, because while I'm doing this one, I'll get ideas for like two more, and then I can't stop thinking about them until I weave them. But the fact that I'm obsessive is why I have this channel. So I guess we're all benefiting from it. So I had enough warp for six towels. So I repeated the gray, but I didn't want another plain gray towel. So I did a waffle weave towel. And some of you are going to ask, and I know this, about, you know, tell us more about the waffle weave. So while I um, wove that last towel, I did film a special, like, segment on the waffle weave. And that will be coming in a later video. So just in case you're looking at it and you're like, Trish! I got you. We're visiting my dad tomorrow, it's his birthday, and then we're camping on the weekend, so I really need to get it done. It's a beautiful day, I could stand to get some yard work done. There's never enough time, there's never enough Trish. <laughs> there's so much Trish. There's more Trish than there was 10 weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the quarantine life has not been good to my body, but you know what, it's okay. Like, we'll get it under control. Life is good, and I'm more than just what my body looks like, just like you. We have a lot going on, it's crazy. So let's get weaving.
the safety pin here is how I mark how far along I am on the warp. And when you see the second one hanging on it, you know that means I'm at the halfway point. Some of you have asked before about color changes, so I'm changing to the turquoise weft here and I'm going to leave a few inches out. I will cross it over the last warp end and then go back into that same shed. If I have a little tail that's sticking out, I don't really care because I'm going to trap that inside my hem so it's perfect. Thanks for watching today. I hope this inspires some of you to try dish towels. I know it has already inspired some. And in about a week, I'll have the finishing up so you can see exactly the process I go through. I, again, don't get so super technical. I just really want you guys to feel like anyone can do this because anyone can do this for real. I will see you guys soon. My paradise box is coming. I have some dyeing coming up, some washing, some skirting. There is so much coming, you guys. So I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.